Right guys, I'm going to do an unboxing. I know this has been unboxed before by lots of people, but not as many as I thought there was going to be. So I'm going to do it now. I'll take my gloves off so I can feel the cellophane. Right, so obviously the box itself slightly smaller than the Space Hulk in terms of width or depth rather um, but on the back here you got the see the contents is what you're going to get um, yeah and it's 75 pounds uh, looks like you get the old uh, range templates don't know if they're the same as my old ones but um, we'll find out I'm going to un unwrap it now Using a hobby knife, I'm cutting through the cellophane. There we are. Okay, that is that. Oh, that's a great feeling, in ways, isn't it? Taking off. Sort of thing, wrapping. All right, pop that in the bin. Uh, okay. No, I don't know if you want to see this the other way around or not. I'm gonna open it this way. All right, so yeah. slide the lid off. Right, first thing I'm confronted with is the templates. Now they appear slightly thinner than my old ones but they look about the same size. So that's cool. So you probably could use your old ones if you needed to. Uh, it's good that they've got those. Okay. And then the sprues. Now this looks like House Escher. Two champions, or is there three models on there? Might be three, I don't know, but I'm gonna say two. Two on there, two on there, I don't know. But that looks like Goliath. So just go to see if we can zoom in a bit. Uh, these are the sprues. Looks like with, like with the whip and that, as you might imagine, you have to be a bit careful um, cutting them out and how you handle it. Um, <coughs> but yeah, detail is what you would expect from Games Workshop. A fantastic detail on chains and hair and rope and all that good stuff looks really good. The Goliath. Yeah, they look like great models. Fantastic. And, that. and then there's the scenery. I'll zoom back out again for that. A bit. <laughs> uh, these doors and whatnot, they look pretty cool too. Feels solid, nice and solid. Right, so got some cool stuff here. This like uh, tentacle thing here, which I've seen in other people's unboxings. Uh, so that I'm looking forward to painting that one up. I'll be honest. Uh, well, it looks like part of the um, template sprue. Um, that you don't need, so I'll chuck that away. This must be the how to. The how to build your model stuff. So, this is kind of, from what I understand, this gives you a how to build a particular model, but there are numerous ways of building 
each one and you don't have to stick to it. Well, I think I will to start with and then if I get more gangers I will build them different ways. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that looks good. Looks great. Next, what have we got here? The rule book. Necromunda rule book. Necromunda under hive. I'm very excited um, for this and it's my hope that I can eventually um, this is going to sound crazy to start but it's my hope that I can eventually uh, amalgamate the Necromunda and Space Hulk boxes uh, now so I will get through the cellophane on the book yeah. as long as you're careful shouldn't be a problem Now, as I understand it, there's going to be a lot of extras for Necromunda. There we go. And I'm excited for that. I'm even planning in my head on amalgamating uh, both of them with 40k. I mean, they're all in the 40k universe, right? So why not? Right, so what is this? It's like a... Oh, that's like a, like a cheat sheet, one for each player, I'm guessing. Yeah. So each player has one of these, just, you know, so they can get through the main basics of the rules as they're, um, as they're playing to kind of speed the game along a bit. So this is a rule book. Now, I know this is not going to be all rules. There's going to be law in here as well. Box contents, that's cool. Uh, anatomy of a higher city, yeah, the unseen trait. So, this is the, the law, the houses of Necromunda. Yeah, so hopefully, this is going to be um, an inkling as to what you're going to be getting in the um, expansions and additions. And we've got their stats. And we're coming on to the rules. Yeah, excellent. Good, good, good. All right. Weapon traits, a bit more, more. Uh, scenarios. This is good. Right. Good, excellent. That looks fantastic. Okay. Next up, we have the tactics cards. Oh, and some handy dandy bags in which to keep them in. So that's good. That is very good. Okay, move them to one side for a moment. So let's open up the tactics cards. Carefully does it. So my friend and I are hoping to play this. And we should hopefully get some games in next year. So crack on with what I've got on the bench at the moment, I can get on with these. Thankfully there's not many models to go through here. But I've been a bit closer. Might be easier. Right. Right, so you've got tactics cards and some other type of card. Right, so tactics cards. I don't know what any of this means at the moment. Like for instance, lucky find. Play this card when activating a fighter with a weapon that is out of ammo. One of the fighter's weapons is automatically reloaded at the cost of one action. No ammo check is required. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. All right. So I'm going to put these into one of these clip up bags. So tactics card. Put these in here. Close it up again. So that's that. So what's these cards here? Well, these are right. 
Okay. These are the stat cards for the characters. Got Skull Shank, the leader, Varric, Nox the Ripper, Kruger, Brack, Drago, Jelena, the leader, that might be that might be Hal Sesha. Yeah, it might be. And then you've got some uh, blank ones here. Oh, there's another one there, that bone snapper. And their points costs more. There's loads of them. These look like blank ones, so you can make your own characters, I'm assuming. Yeah, that looks good. Like it. Okay, liking that a lot. I like that idea. So that leaves you wide open for conversions and cool, extra cool hobbying opportunities, which I'm not sure if the other games that have come out have got that, but um, I'm super glad this one does have it. Oh, if I can fit these in, it'd be a miracle. Right, maybe if I separate the blank ones. from the actual ones. There we go, so I've got those in there. There we go, right, they're all in. Zip them up, right. So that's done. Bag of bases, necromunda bases, and you can buy these as well, you can buy packs of these next Monday bases. They look cool. Zone Mortalis base bag. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to base them on these. So, okay, that's cool. Dice. Now, you can get a specific dice for each house. Um, but these are just like a generic dice that you can use. Anyways. Right, so one of these each, presumably, and two of these each, presumably. Yeah, cool, excellent. So you can you can distinguish each side. Extra cool. Right, the tiles and the things. Before we go onto the tiles, well, let's look at this box. At the bottom of the box, there is what looks like sprue bits, which I'm going to put the grey onto one side because I'm not sure what it is. Oh, and a ruler like you get in um, Dark Imperium, you know, one of these like see through clear plastic ruler things, measuring things. That's always handy. Right, the box, as, I'm, as I understand it can be made into terrain. At least I'm told that's what it can be done, so uh, I shall look into that at some point as well. Right, I'll just move the box to one side for a moment. Right, the tiles and the counters, tokens. So, I don't know what these all are. And I'm not going to need this Ziploc bag once the bases are done. So I can pop all the little round ones into here. So that's cool. I may even have a small um, uh, separate bag as well. But these tiles, I want to look at them. Uh, okay. So let's get the cellophane off of that. This is what makes uh, these games quite heavy, actually, is the, is the tiles. It's not as heavy as Space Hulk was, though, I've got to say. Right. Well. Excellent. Okay, so. Like I said, I don't know what these counters mean yet. These are obviously firing arc or lines of vision. 
I'm not sure what these are, but they're double sided. Hmm. Very strange. Pop that back in the box. Now, this is the tiles. So, on one side you got like these like rusty coloured um, areas. So this is obviously like walls. And this must be the corridors. Which is cool. Look at that like, ultramarine symbol there. That's kind of cool. They're double sided as well. So on, on the back of some of them they got different things like green sludge and such like. So that's cool. So I guess it's just like a bit like Zombicide where you can make up different different gaming boards. Nice, I like it. Oh, that's good, that looks like the centre of the board there to me. Yeah, all looks good to me. Right, I like the look of that. Awesome. I like the way they come out on camera, they look good. So, all in all, I think, you know, yeah, you've helped done yourself again, Games Workshop. This is what they excel at, I think. Games like this, self-contained. Uh, and it's kind of cool how, you know, they're games that can be expanded upon if you wish. But, essentially, there is everything you need to play the game right there. So, this is Necromunda Under Hive. I'll um, try to put it back as I, as I got it out, but not always easy. Eh? So, put a little rule thing here, and the templates there, which I will remove at some point later. And that is Necromunda Underhive in a beautiful box which I can now start reading up on the rules. Right, next we have, oh, I'll pop that to one side, the Gang War book, the gaming supplement that comes with it. I'll um, let's take the price tag off here, £17.50 for this one. This enables you to play the game on a 3D tabletop as opposed to the 2D one which the rules of the box set give you. Now this is the rules for that. Um, so nice lot of ideas in there about um, uh, model kits for scenery. Apparently they're like, you know, Zone or Talis style. Uh, there's a lot of scenery kits that fit that. Um, like Mechanicum scenery kits. And I've got a scenery kit with this in mind, which is the Thermic Plastic Regulators Sector Mechanicus. Now this is going to go in my um, Necromunda games as well. So I'll do I'll, I'll be doing an unboxing of that one separately. But yeah, but Necromunda Gang War. And you got um, a sheet there which. Should be able to photocopy that you can use for the battles. Yeah, so this is looking great. Everything you need. So let's hope we can get to building and painting and then gaming. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, all brushes lead to war. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.